Hey everybody and welcome. Today's destination brings us here to Wares Valley, Tennessee to a restaurant that we have passed by so many times we can't even count. And we're excited to bring you with us today because today we're getting ready to dine at... Papa's Catfish Kitchen. Tuesdays and Fridays from 11 to 3. You can see it's a half a po' boy and one cup of one of these gumbos here. And here are the specialty dishes as well as New Orleans favorites. Here you can see the various baskets. They have catfish baskets, shrimp baskets, crab cakes, oysters, and other seafood baskets. This one here comes with catfish, shrimp, oyster, and crab cake. This should have barbecue and a wide selection of po'boys. And they also have cheeseburgers if you're not in the mood for seafood. Here are the appetizers. They have alligator bites and a Cajun favorite, boudin. They have crab cakes, shrimp jammers, and a sampler plate, as well as different soups. This is a shrimp and corn soup. And here are the salads. And for the sides, I have fries, coleslaw, potato salad, and baked beans. And here is an a la carte section of the menu. And they do serve Pepsi products. And here are the kids' meals. Chichi, what are on the kids' meals there? Hamburger, chicken tenders, catfish, shrimp. Those are big chicken tenders, aren't they? And you got a hush puppy. All right, Jennifer, and what'd you get there? I got the catfish and shrimp basket. It comes with six shrimp, two catfish, and french fries. And then you get to choose another side, so I chose potato salad. That's delicious. And I ended up getting a seafood platter that comes with fried oysters, shrimp, fried catfish, hush puppies, fries, and I chose to get some baked beans on the side. So look at the batter on these fries. Wow. That looks so good. I'm going to try it in this sauce here. It looks like it's some kind of like maybe Cajun sauce. That is really tasty. Looks good. All right, I'm going to try a piece of the catfish here. Here we go. That's delicious. You know, some catfish houses put the cornmeal batter really thick on the catfish. This is not the case here. It's very light, so you get more of a fish taste, which is what I enjoy. It's the light fried batter. And now I'm going to try a piece of the fried chicken. That's also delicious as well. Look how big the pieces of catfish are. That looks just so fresh. And I love cornmeal batter. So I'm really excited to try that. Look how hot that is. Steaming and flaky. I really like the light batter on there. And the catfish is cooked perfectly. It's not fishy. It's really fresh tasting. Really jumbo shrimp on this platter. So I'm excited about that and love shrimp. That's so tender and amazing. Get two hush puppies with this meal also. And y'all know me, I love my cornbread. That's so yummy. It has a real good onion flavor. And it's just right. The potatoes look like they're cooked really well. Just the perfect tenderness. Try this out. Oh yeah, that's the kind of like... This is the, the really good kind with seafood. It's got that 
good pickly taste, and a little bit of mustard. Love it. All right, I'm gonna try one of the fried oysters here by itself, and then I'm gonna dip it in some cocktail sauce. It's very good. It doesn't have an overpowering seafood taste. I'm gonna try it now with some cocktail sauce. My favorite type of oysters are baked oysters, but this is a close second. And again, it doesn't have that overpowering oyster taste. So I really enjoy that. that you enjoy the oysters, but it's not too overpowering. I'm gonna try this crab cake here. Look at that. I know that we're far from the Gulf. I know that we're far from the Atlantic Ocean, but they have some fantastic seafood here at Paul Paul's Catfish Kitchen. I'm gonna try the baked beans. You can see the large slices and dices of onions in there. It's very good. It, it doesn't have a smokiness flavor. Um, it doesn't have a sweet flavor. It's just very standard baked beans, but very good. Henry is holding chicken, and not one hand, but two hands right there. So the sauce right here, um, we asked the owner what it's called because I've been dipping everything in it. It's so tasty. It's a uh, remoulade sauce and they actually make it here. So they make a lot of their sauces and a lot of everything and nothing sits under a heat lamp. They cook everything first to order. The final bill here at Papa's Catfish Kitchen. By the way, today's market price for my seafood basket was $24.50 with the baked beans. Came out to a grand total before tip of $69.34. That was Pawpaw's Catfish Kitchen. Gentry, what did you think about Pawpaw's Catfish Kitchen? 8 out of 10. I really like my hamburger, and I like those crispy fries. Those crispy fries were pretty good, weren't they? And Henry, what did you think about Pawpaw's Catfish Kitchen, buddy? Well, I like the fries, and the kitchen was good, but... I was gonna say we wiped down your face and you went back for one more dip of your fries before we left any <laughs> and Jennifer what do you think about Pawpaw's catfish kitchen I thought it was excellent that catfish was so fresh tasting not fishy at all the batter was perfect it was very lightly battered and the shrimp was as well cooked perfectly the remoulade sauce, I was dipping everything in that. I really enjoyed that. And they said they make that homemade, so that's even better. And the fries had like a light batter on those also, and they were perfectly crispy. Everything was excellent. And I will say that the crab cake here was outstanding. There was smoked paprika in the crab cake. The catfish was the perfect balance of flour and cornmeal. A lot of catfish houses put a lot of cornmeal and not enough of an even balance of the cornmeal and the flour. But this place did it just right. It was a light dusting and it was delicious. Everything was delicious. And guys, if you're in the Wares Valley area, we highly recommend coming out here to Pawpaw's Catfish Kitchen. It's a hop, skip, and a jump, maybe like five miles from Pigeon Forge. If you're on your way to Kate's Cove, it's also right on your way to Kate's Cove coming from Pigeon Forge. Guys, we thank you so much for coming along with us today. If you're not already subscribed, we would be honored if you would hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Everyday is Saturday.